Hi, and welcome to my channel, Shades of Sage, where I discuss all things motherhood. My name is Tashima. I am a doula and mom of three, and today I want to talk about morning sickness. So some natural remedies that you can use if you are suffering from morning sickness. I do have some experience with morning sickness. I had it for all three of my pregnancies. So I'm just going to go over some tips and tricks to hopefully help ease your morning sickness, or really all day sickness for some people. So let's get started. So the first morning sickness remedy that I want to talk about is ginger. I'm sure you probably heard this. You may already be using ginger to help you with your morning sickness. So ginger is a natural remedy for morning sickness because it's known to help soothe your stomach. And you can find ginger in a whole bunch of different forms. There's ginger tea, there's ginger candies, ginger soda, like ginger ale, all of those things. There's really like a plethora of ginger products that you can use and try. So if you are one of those people that like ginger, this would be an easy remedy for you to try out. However, there are some people who don't like ginger. I'm one of those people, I don't like ginger. So I don't like ginger soda, I don't like ginger candy. I'm just not a fan of ginger in the way it tastes. <laughs> So it didn't work for me, but if you are one of those people who like ginger or who's not impartial to ginger, this would be a good place for you to start. So the next tip or the next remedy for morning sickness is C-bands. So C-bands are like little bracelets that you can put on to your wrist. It kind of looks like a watch band and then it has like this little circle that touches this part of your wrist here. And the whole theory behind C-bands is acupressure. And so there are certain spots on the body which are known to or which are linked to your body in certain areas of your body. And acupressure in that spot is supposed to help with your morning sickness and easing those feelings of nausea. I did try these and personally it didn't work for me. But if you are looking for some natural solutions to morning sickness, I say give it a shot. It may work for you. Some women have had great success using C-bands. And you can find them anywhere. I think I had got mine from Target. You probably found them in Walmart, CVS, or Walgreens. They were specifically made for people who have like sickness, motion sickness when they go on boat but they also have found that they work good for pregnant women who are suffering from morning sickness. So the next natural remedy that I like to mention is pregnancy pops or pregnancy candies. I'm not sure exactly what is in these candies that, that makes them help with morning sickness. If I had to guess, I'd probably say there's probably some ginger or something in there. I did try a couple of these. I tried the pregnancy candies from Target. If I could find a picture, I will include it in the video. They didn't really work, but they didn't not work either. I don't know, they're kind of weird. They tasted really good. <laughs> At least I had it going for it. But, but for me, it kind of only worked while I had the candy in my mouth. And then once it was dissolved and it was gone, then the nausea came back. So that's something that you would have to take all day long. But if you're not against it or opposed to it, you could try it. The ones I got probably weren't as natural as you could get them. There's probably some more natural varieties of candies and pregnancy pops out there that you could try. And you can just look at the ingredients if that's something that's important to you. But yeah, pregnancy pops, pregnancy candies, they're supposed to be specifically formulated for pregnant women who are suffering from morning sickness to help you ease that nausea that you are experiencing. So the next natural remedy that I have for morning sickness is not actually something that you could eat, but it's just a tip, and that is to eat small meals frequently. So snacking often, eating often, really you just want to try not to let your stomach get to empty. When it gets to empty, at least in my experience, it's way, way worse. So just trying to keep a little bit of something in your stomach. So snacking every, I don't know, two hours or so. Just a little snack, you know, you still wanna keep in mind a healthy calorie range, but just trying to keep a little bit of something in your stomach at all times. And again, not eating really, really big meals either because that feeling of fullness kind of makes the nausea a little bit worse. So eating smaller meals, but more frequently throughout the day, I found that to really help with morning sickness, especially those who are suffering from all day sickness, if you know what I'm talking about. So the next tip that I have for morning sickness is soothing smells. So certain smells traditionally are just linked to being able to calm down your stomach. And some of those is peppermint, lavender, orange, lemon, lime, so citrusy smells, those things really help ease the queasiness in your stomach. I know for a lot of women during your pregnancy, you have a heightened sense of smell. And believe me when I say, <laughs> I had like the nose of a bloodhound. I could smell everything, I could smell anything. Anything that's upset my stomach made me throw up instantly. Even like colognes, perfumes, um, cooking certain meats. There were a lot of meats that I couldn't eat or couldn't even smell to be cooked because that would make me throw up. So just kind of being mindful. There may be smells that you loved 
month prior to pregnancy and then once you got pregnant you hated it and this could be your own personal cologne or perfume it could be your partner's cologne or body wash it's just really random pregnancy so try to eliminate those smells try to keep fresh smells around you if you need to open the windows or the doors do that some of those essential oils like peppermint lemon lime if you keep those smells around you that could help and at least not trigger that nausea for you if you're already suffering from morning sickness and then if all else fails and you find no relief everything you tried the ginger the candies the pops the acupressure nothing's working for you there is prescription medicine that you can take i actually had to take this for two of my pregnancies because like i said before i had a horrible morning sickness for all three of my pregnancies and i kind of wished it was just like a one-time thing with my first pregnancy but it seemed to get worse and worse for each pregnancy and i had morning sickness all pregnancy long it did not stop at the first trimester and so if you are one of those people that is suffering from severe morning sickness i was not i was not diagnosed with hyperemesis but i did lose a lot of weight in my pregnancies because of my morning sickness so if it's really really bad for you you may need medicine um diclegis is one that i know they prescribe it's highly recommended and it does work i did take that the only thing with diclegis is it is expensive and a lot of insurances do not cover it so i had like a trial and I used that so I would take it in the morning when I got up and then I would take it at night before I went to sleep and that kind of helped with the morning sickness well at least for me it helped me it kept me from throwing up but I still had the all day sickness but it did take the edge off so I do highly recommend that if you can get a prescription for it if you can afford to buy it definitely do invest in that if you really have severe morning sickness but there is a knockoff kind of dupe for diclegis which is unisum and b6 and i took that religiously for my last two pregnancies because once the diclegis wore out and i thought maybe i'm halfway through my pregnancy i don't need to take anything else anymore no that didn't work for me i still needed something so i would take unisum and b6 now Unisum is prescribed for people who have trouble sleeping. So if you do go that route with the Unisum and B6, I recommend that you take it at night because it will make you tired. <laughs> and I did make this mistake with my second pregnancy. I already had a toddler at home. She was about a year old when I got pregnant with my second. And I was taking the Unisum and B6 in the morning and then like falling asleep in the day. That wasn't good because I had a toddler to take care of. So I switched it to taking it at night and that worked a whole lot better for me. So I will include the pictures to both of these that I'm talking about. I just took one capsule of the Unisum and one capsule of the B6 and that worked perfectly throughout the rest of my pregnancy. Again, I'm morning sickness did not go away. It just kind of lessened a little bit with the medication, but the medication did help. So if you need to go that route, you can. Diclegis is safe for pregnancy. Unisum and B6 is also safe for pregnancy. And I think sometimes they prescribe Zo Zofran? Zoloft? <laughs> But there's something else that they prescribe for morning sickness as well. So don't be ashamed if you feel like it's really bad for you or you feel like you can't keep anything down or you're throwing up constantly all day. Medication is available if you do need so, yeah, it. Yeah, my experiences with morning sickness were pretty bad. I tried all of these remedies and nothing pretty much worked. I just had to, once I delivered, that's when the morning sickness went away for me. Like I said, it was all day sickness. So the moment I woke up to the moment I went to sleep, it was queasiness all day long it was throwing up sometimes all day long and i don't think i experienced or started experiencing morning sickness with my first until about nine weeks but it seemed like each pregnancy i started experiencing it a little bit sooner and it got more severe so it always took me a while to gain weight just because i was losing weight really quickly with the morning sickness at least in the first two trimesters i was losing weight before i ever got to gain weight so if you are one of those people that's already in a healthy weight range or even underweight you definitely want to make sure that you're compensating for those calories that you may be throwing up because you don't want to lose too much weight during your pregnancy with my third i lost a lot of weight like 25 to 30 pounds it was really bad now i did have some stressful situations and i had some things going on in my personal life that probably contributed to me losing so much weight for that pregnancy but definitely, if you are experiencing super rapid weight loss or you can't keep on any weight, especially after the second trimester, you do want to talk to your doctor to see what other solutions or what other ways you can go about staying in the healthy weight range. So no one knows what causes morning sickness. Some women have it really bad, like me. Some women have it way worse than me. And then some women don't experience it at all. They only experience it in their first trimester and then it's gone. My mom 
hardly experienced morning sickness so she couldn't really relate to me what i was going through but she did help me out and i told her she made pregnancy look way too easy like i was just laid out on the couch just suffering and it's even harder if you have a baby or you have a toddler that you already are taking care of it's a little bit easier when it's just you in the pregnancy but if you have other kids and you're suffering from severe morning sickness like i did it's just it's the worst so if you are going through it i completely understand i completely relate and i hope that you find relief so soon believe it or not though morning sickness is actually linked to a healthy pregnancy <laughs> which is crazy but morning sickness means your baby is growing well it's growing healthily you're being flooded with all the pregnancy hormones and your body is just an overload so that's why you're experiencing a morning sickness but it's usually a very good sign for your baby and for your pregnancy that you will be able to carry this baby and have a live birth at the end I know it sucks for mom, but try to keep that in mind when you're feeling your worst. There's some foods to avoid, which could kind of trigger your morning sickness or make your morning sickness even worse, is greasy foods, spicy foods, and fatty foods. All of those foods are kind of harsh on the lining of your stomach, and it could make your morning sickness a little bit worse or make it a little bit more unmanageable. So if you are suffering from morning sickness, the recommendation is to eat more bland foods. So bread, rice applesauce crackers things like that they don't have too much seasoning and aren't too greasy or fatty so i will say that that worked for me in the beginning i was eating a lot of saltine crackers but then it kind of had a reverse effect to me because it was like i just hated eating them so then i would get sick because i was eating too much of them but just trying to stay away from those greasy foods because it sometimes is like the worst thing that you can eat for morning sickness. I know it was for me. Of course, I know you have pregnancy cravings, so you can indulge in those. But if it triggers your morning sickness or makes it worse, try to refrain from certain foods or whatever it is that is making you feel nauseous. So two things that really helped me with my morning sickness besides the medication was soda and gum. <laughs> I know that sounds really weird and it's kind of random. I'm not really a soda drinker since I've had my kids. Since my last pregnancy, I've only drunk soda like a few times. I'm not a big soda drinker. I'm pregnant. But when I was pregnant, I needed it. I just felt like the soda helped. Like the bubbles, I don't know, of the soda really helped. So my go-to or my favorite was Wild Cherry Pepsi. I'm not recommending this. I'm just saying that that really helped me. Gum really helped too. Like when I was nauseous or when I just had like that weird taste in my mouth or it just seemed like maybe I ate the wrong thing or something. If I chewed gum, that helped a little bit too. So those are two things that helped me with all of my pregnancies and the morning sickness that I experienced. So that's all that I have for this video. Those are some natural remedies that you can use for morning sickness and even some prescription remedies that you can try for morning sickness. Again, if you're one of those people like me that experienced morning sickness all through your pregnancy, just know I understand what you're going through and I'm hoping that maybe one of these remedies will work for you if you experience morning sickness or had severe morning sickness please leave a comment down below on what worked for you and even what didn't work for you I'd love to read other people's experiences with this as well don't forget about my youtube live that i am doing on april 19th it will be at 6 p.m it is a breastfeeding q a but if you're a mom you can join in if you have any questions about childbirth labor and delivery newborns anything like that stop by. I'm also going to be celebrating my one year on YouTube, and my 100th video on YouTube. So definitely check it out. I hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a great big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. It really does help my channel out so much. And I appreciate all of my subscribers and all the people that take the time to comment on my videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching today and I'll see you in my next video. Remember to let your story be your power. Bye! may already be using ginger to help you with your morning saying which are they're made different brands i tried the pe pregnancy partners um it could be your partner's cologne or perfume Keep that in mind when you're throwing up in a toilet bowl. <laughs> Why are you trying to <laughs> <laughs>